All right. On the last episode, I talked to you about do I need a Facebook group? What's the importance of uh, creating a community and creating a community? Open your brand up and not only helps you increase your sales and all that. However, let me start with a proper introduction. My name is Lady Hale. I am from CA Social Marketing and PR firm where we help you increase your ROI by 50 to 60 percent. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about understanding the global community okay so I know I always ask you guys what is your audience or you're targeting etc but many of you say I'm targeting the local people in my area and then I'm going to spread about and spread um, abroad and that's perfectly fine I think that's um, there's nothing there's nothing um, wrong with that right because even though you might have the um, range of people that you normally talk to within your demographic or within your region. Um, however, there are people who are in your region who never heard of you. So I, I, I have no problem with that, with that scaling model or that targeting model or anything like that. However, when we get into the internet and we get into um, different groups, what about those who, who's looking up certain things? And this is where search go into effects for you. They find you on Google. All right, because they're searching whatever your keywords are. They're searching that. And then your website come up. They go on your website. And if you have taken my class and I've shown you how to build a website, I've shown you how to um, add your group on there and how to add different things. So not only can they connect with you with your website, your website serve as a place not only for sales and funneling and all that, but it also serve as a referral right? What is a referral, Crystal? I've never heard of that term. So a referral service is basically what calls the person to go to a certain place, okay? So on your website, if you look, um, if especially like if you're using Shopify or if you're using um, a Google to help you to Google Analytics that's connected to your 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 website, whether whatever platform you're using, whatever e-commerce um, platform you're using, you can use Shopify, WooCommerce, and all that. Um, I'm going to be dropping some videos because um, many of you don't know where your source is coming from, and you don't know where your referrals are coming from. You can't see that. Shopify has that automatically built inside. So, do you need Google? Yes, you do. If you want to uh, later on, if you want to consider running ads through Google and all that. That is great information to have. And Google follows your customer all around the internet using cookies, okay? But we're not going to even get into that conversation because that conversation is a longer conversation, which we might have a little later. Okay, with that being with that being said, all right, Google has referred you a customer. They go into your, they go into your shop, okay? So act, just think that your, your website is your own a digital brick and mortar so they come into your store when they come into your store i tell you how to do your home page so you want to make sure your socials are somewhere on your home page even if you have a ticker going across wherever you're most active at that's the main one you want to say click here because this is where i'm most active at but still have a link to your socials um a link to your socials on there on the top of my website if you go to the creative space academy dot com you're gonna see right there on the top of that website it's gonna say join our free facebook group join our free facebook group click it you know the only thing they have to do is click it and they you know they'll join they'll join the group or whatever and i keep i have it um where when it links out that um it doesn't change to a whole different browser and they have to stay there. So I have another browser pop up. My website is still on the page, okay? That is so important that when it asks you, when they access this link, do you want them to take them off the website or you want to open it in a new tab? I always select open it in a new tab because I, I want them to be over here and go, ooh, look at that. And then I want them to switch back over to the tab and say, ooh, Ooh, oh my gosh, she got this, she got that, da da da. And I want them, um, I, I want them having both because I, I want them fully engaged with my content. Now I have you looking at my content on two different browsers, right? A third browser you may, you may go, but when you got two different browsers, you're browsing between both of them. So now I'm keeping you on my website, and now I'm also having you on my group site. So now you done submitted your information. You submitted your information there. Now you're back on here, but you still got this up. And so then you might go down and say, oh, she got a YouTube. Let me click on that. Click. Then my YouTube pop up in a different section. Now you have three browsing tabs that are open. The 
gem that I'm dropping to you right now is letting you know there's power in the browsing tab, okay? The more they click on my stuff and I say open a new tab, now I have them opening a new tab, all right? We call this the psychology of browsing or the psychology of um of of engagement, right? So, so that's where you are literally sucking your client in, you're sucking them in to your funnel where they have to see you. And every time they click, there's another cookie that's following them. There's a cookie that's from that went from my website that's gonna show me, oh, when you went from my when you clicked on my website, you clicked on my homepage, then you it tells me that you clicked on that um you 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 clicked on that bar which opened a new tab all right now that new cookie is um is responding to the other cookie so if the uh, but if i did not have my meta pixel installed on my website then facebook and my website could not communicate with each other okay so think of a cookie or a pixel is something that's going to follow your client around on the internet i'll say it again write it down a pixel is nothing but a salesperson that's going to follow your client around on the internet so this is why it's important to have these pixels installed on your site and all the websites ecom um shopify uh who else lord help me shopify um woocommerce all those other sites wix all all of those e-commerce platforms all of them have a way where you can install the pixels because if they go off your site and stay on facebook and you don't have a pixel that's installed on that Facebook, then guess what happened? You 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 lose you lose where what are they doing? What are their behaviors? You're losing what they're doing. So if they're stopping at a certain point and they're not coming back, you're not gonna know why because you're not following them around on the internet. What's another pixel you want to have installed? Is that Google? If another pixel that you want to have installed, TikTok. Another pixel that you want to have installed, Snapchat. Another pixel, the uh, Meta, uh, Instagram, and Facebook, the same thing. So you knock out two birds with one stone, okay? So you need any website, any place where you can place ads, any place that allows you to install a pixel, hear hear ye me, install the pixel, okay? When you install this pixel, it's going to gather information. Pixels stay active from 30 to 90 days is just depending on the setting that you have inside of your um, pixel settings, okay? 30 to 90 days unless they place clear cash. Clear cash. If they clear the cash, then guess what? You can't follow them no more until they come back and reactivate the cookie. But you have 90 days, literally, you have up to 90 days, and some pixels let you do up to 120, but you have 90 days to follow these people around on the internet, look at their behaviors, what are they clicking on, how long are they, are they clicking on there, etc. And then not only that, you, you amp it up. Because if they stop at your Facebook group, okay, why, why are they just stopping in my Facebook group? Then you can say, okay, hold on, let's let's look at my engagement in the Facebook group. What are they responding to? Or are they just looky-loos right now? So if they're looking, that means I need to be posting more of what I'm doing. I need to be posting more so they get the alerts. I need to be podcasting so they get the alert. I need to be on YouTube so they'll get the alert. I need to be on TikTok doing whatever I need to do so they can get the alert. I want those pixels, and obviously the pixels are talking to each other. The search engines are all talking to each other and saying, oh, oh yeah, they do like this. They like stuff like this. So even if they start clicking on some something else, the pixels are going to, the, when you're throwing your ads out there, the pixels are going to all start working together and say, oh, you like this? You like this? Oh, yeah, I did go over that site one time. Oh, let me go back over there, and et cetera. So it's like your your pixels is, is uh, literally like your salesperson going around saying, hey, 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 we're here. Hey, we got this. Oh, my God. Hey, we got this for sale. We got that for sale. We got, you know, we got all this stuff for sale or whatever. So your pixel, oh, my God. Y'all, this is nine minutes long. Okay. All right, so we're we're y'all getting a full y'all get a full episode today. What? So um, 
Anywho, your pixel is like following these people around on the internet. You're catering your ass. You're producing your content. And trust me, they're going to show it to them, okay? And they're going to come back. And those clients are going to turn from looky-loos. They're going to turn turn in from free stuff. So get them to download something. I always say this. Have a, have a download available, okay? I don't care what the digital download is. You might ask me what the digital download looks like, Crystal. How can I have... Um, what, did it, what is a digital download? How can I create it for my niche, all right? everybody niche is different and i'm going to do a live today in the group so um if you listen to this go over to the group it's called creative uh creative space academy plc is on facebook creative space academy plc is a professional learning community where we learn different um techniques and today i am going to talk about the good wholesome emails and things of that nature so if you're catching this episode you can go in the group you'll see it in there because i don't delete anything i also make sure i um i i post it on youtube and all those different things like that and i'll do something on tiktok as well all right you can see, actually see this in action and i'm gonna send out a good wholesome e-blast and say look here Ooh, check this out, y'all. Are you using your email system? You pay up for Shopify? Are you using your email system? It's gonna say some, you know, something along, along that nature. So when you're in the web, when you're um, when you when you're in your in your websites and all that, you want to make sure that your number one, your pixels are installed, so your so your website is able to communicate with the um your your website is able to communicate with each other, and so when they hop on your um your when they hop on your website go check your landing page go see how navigatable it is and also as well make sure on your landing page you have a link to whatever the most active social media that you are in is on there on that notification bar or something like that it's right there also whatever product that you are pushing you want that on the home on the home page and if you have a blog make sure your blogs are down there and then have a way for them to sign up for your e- email email list whether you put it in a center or whatever I always recommend maybe put it in, in the um in the center because the first thing you want to have oh sign up for the email list and then you don't want to have it all the way on the bottom because people scroll down to the bottom and they like oh oh that's cute okay put it in the middle so they'll know sign up for this and make sure you have something that grabs their attention that they know another thing another takeaway as well is um is the tabs power of tabs okay so you want to keep your clients on your thing so the more they click on your stuff um anything that's off your site you want it to pop up in a separate tab okay you want it to pop pop it up in a separate tab i'm gonna have to relabel this but have it pop up in a separate tab so that was the that was the takeaway number one have everything proper uh, pop up into a separate tab number two make sure you have your pixels installed so that you can follow your customers around on the internet and see their behaviors okay um and number three be great so this is what i want you to go do today sit down at your website go look at your home page go look at your home page number one look in the back and see our pixels installed you say crystal i don't know how to do that well, do me. You can go on my you all you can go on my website. I have a link on there that says "Fix My Site." Okay, fix my site. It's only sixty bucks. Go on there, and if you need me to fix your site, you can go go on my website at the Creative Space Academy dot com and just type "Fix My Site." That's gonna come up. Um, add that to your cart. I'm gonna send you an email and say, "What do you need fixed?" And then if you say, "Hey, I need I need my pixels connected," well, guess what? For that sixty bucks, we're gonna go ahead and just connect your pixels, um, or something like that. Okay. So just let me let me know, okay? There's a different things between fixing something and building a whole new website. I'm not building a website for sixty dollars, okay? But I will fix things. I will help you, uh, or me, myself, or my team. We will go in there. We will make sure that's connected. We'll make sure this is um, this is that right. So um, whatever you need to done. So if you need us to go in and connect pixels, just pay the little sixty bucks. We'll get it all connected for you, um, and so you're able to follow your um, your your um your your people around on the internet what pixels need to be connected your google analytics for those need to be connected your facebook pixels need to be uh connected if you're not on snapchat don't even worry about it um and your tiktok um pixel it needs to be connected your tiktok needs to be connected you need to be on tiktok you need to be um a shop seller all that good stuff like that they make it very easy to integrate with um everything and if those things are not on your site you need to give me a call and say fix i mean you need to go on the website on my website uh creativespaceacademy.com um i think i might yeah yeah okay we'll do that um creativespaceacademy.com and go to the Creative Space Academy. And once on the Creative Space Academy, make sure to put in the search bar. Uh, fix my site. That thing will come up. Add it. Go to the cart. 
we're going to get you within 24 hours you're going to get your email and i'm going to say hey hey such and such thank you for purchasing this uh uh um um, can you tell me what you need to fix my site respond to the email say i need my socials connected and then we'll go from there okay well, it's been a wonderful um, day. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, if you get up early in the morning when this drops, oh my God, look at you. Yes, because we drop at six. We drop our podcast early in the morning between 6.30 and 6.45. Um, but typically, I try to make sure they're dropped at 6.30 so you can, um, you're can you able to access it and everything. Well, until then, my name is Crystal Hell. I'm helping you increase your ROI by 50 to 60 Um uh, 50 to 60 percent i'll see you on the other side and if you haven't joined our facebook community look up creative space academy plc plc is a professional learning community where there are uh, leaders and business thought leaders that are all all around the world we're a global community we are connected um as well and that was what i was supposed to say so let me drop that in there um us being a global a global community um, we'll do this on the next podcast. All right. So we'll label this something and then we'll do that on the next podcast. Talk about us being a global community because this podcast was somewhere totally different um, that I wasn't expecting yet. All right. So until next time, God bless.